Welcome to the Raspberry Sky Straight Talking Series. I am delighted to introduce you to Remy Merckx, the Senior Vice President, Global, Digital and Marketing for Radisson Hotel Group. Welcome, Remy. Before we kick off, could you just give us a quick overview of Radisson Hotel Group? It's a, it's a hospitality brand originating out of the US and is now part of a big Chinese family uh, being owned by Jinjiang Hotels. Um, it's basically a group of eight brands that goes from uh, the mid-scale or economy mid-scale uh, brands until the upper upscale brands. And, and even now what we call affordable, um, affordable luxury as we have launched a year ago now, a new brand called Radisson Collection. We, we think that with our eight brands, we are now covering really pretty much um, uh, all the hotel audiences that we can address uh, uh, in the world. The geographic spread is also very important. We have about 1,400 hotels globally in the world, very well spread between what we have in the Americas, um, what we have in Europe, Africa, and Middle East, and what we have in Asia Pacific. As you can imagine, being owned by a Chinese uh, company, uh, our development in Asia Pacific uh, is is very big, and the opportunities also of expanding the demand market to Asia uh, is very important for our hotel group. So t- tell us about sorry, tell us a bit about the current status of your uh, your digital customer journey. What is the offering that you have today? We did an, uh, a, a really amazing work in the last let's say eighteen months. We had our eight hotel brands, and we said, well, it's not easy in this digital world to address to consumers um, through each individual brand. It's not very efficient um, in terms of budget also uh, for digital marketing in particular. It's a challenge because if you split your budget into the individual brands, it reduces significantly your return on investment and your efficiencies in how you do marketing as such. So uh, that was one of um, uh, the analysis that we did in order to come up with a very, very important important decision for a company where we said, well, you know what, for digital purposes in the future, we want to have one single platform and we will be able to build dedicated customer journeys, digital customer journeys through that own platform. And that that platform will be available on desktop, mobile, app, um, and also tablets. We decided to outsource it to build on existing outside external technology so that it makes it more agile for us to continue to develop moving forward. So now we have a beautiful new website, radsandhotels.com, that embed all the brands. And for that purpose, we have also rebranded our loyalty program to Radisson Rewards. And we have embedded all the loyalty experience for our most valuable members, which are loyal members, to have all their life if I can call it the Radisson Live, in one single place. And that's available on desktop, on mobile, and on an app. And and in terms of engagement, the app is very, very important, and we see it also in our numbers. Uh, uh, Our conversion, whenever a customer ends up on on our app, is is way bigger than what we had prior to, to launching this app. So it's 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 very important that we have now those eight hotel apps, um, eight hotel brands, sorry, where you live your experience in the hotel, and beside that you have all these digital platform that allows you to do a pre, during stay and after stay engagement with the customers. Great. So from my understanding today, uh, they can book through the app. Um, they can do contest, contactless payment through the app. Um, there's a chat bot in terms of in-house customer interaction and obviously the whole loyalty management piece. How is the technology um, that you have today impacting your ability to offer things like check-in online, choose your room, upsells? What's your yes. what's the well, challenges with putting that in place? Sally, as, as you can imagine, all that requires development, of course, because we, we took the decision that uh, for all our digital platforms, we would build new features always from scratch in order not to bring with us legacies and, and, right. and things that could could really make it more complex for us to, to manage. So um, yes, we, we have launched the app with already 
in the in the app some of those uh, some of those features so of course you can book um you can uh you can have your entire loyalty experience whenever you log in uh, to your to your loyalty account you can see your past days your future stays you can reprint an invoice as an example that that's also or, or re feature not printing anymore because that that's <laughs> not, not really uh, trendy anymore but we have also launched indeed some uh, chatbots that allows also some more a, a better automated interaction with customers for some um, very frequently asked questions that that we can include into a, a chatbot uh, system um, and we are still working to um, to feature of course uh, online check-in and online checkout you can already do an online checkout um, but online check-in is a little bit more challenging because in some uh, countries you need to get a, a, a card authorization, uh, etc. So th th there are some payment and finance uh, obligations that you need to include. So all that uh, is in development also, and, and we will be able um, on a very regular basis to launch and feature and, 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 and launch new features on, uh, on the app. Um, and we will continue. We have a very interesting roadmap um, for 2021 also in terms of upselling uh, for our customers. Uh, like you said, you mentioned uh, Choose Your Room, which is quite innovative in the hotel industry. It exists already here and there. Uh, choose your floor, choose where you want to be located with a view, without a view um, is, is quite interesting. And actually, it has also um, what we call an upselling opportunity because obviously, that allows you also to differentiate uh, um, in terms of revenue management, uh, how much you sell for such a room versus another room in, in on the other side of the building. So Remy, um, as Radisson Hotel Group, you are investing in new platform technology that's going to enable you to deliver this. Can you just give us a bit of a sense of that, what that, what that is? In terms of your PMS and, you know, sure, investment. sure, That's sure. Pretty major. So, uh, absolutely. So the first step of the transformation was to have a digital platform. Yeah. Uh, state of the art that address no, uh, today's needs of, of, of the customers. Uh, we thought that that was only the first step and we need to go way further. Um, and so we launched uh, uh, also a year ago, a big project publicly and, and we called it Emma, um, uh, which is basically an internal name of, of, of the project. Um, and Emma is basically launching a fully new integrated system for all hotels that operates under one of the Radisson uh, uh, hotel brands. So that means that we are going to have a fully integrated CRS system, central reservation system. So we will replace our existing central reservation system by uh, uh, Emma. It will be integrated also to a PMS system, property management system. So all these will talk to each other, will be fully embedded, fully integrated. So that means that whatever sits in the CRS will be available to any hotel owner in order to know better their customers and be way more proactive in the way they're going to build their relationship once the customer hits the, the, um, the property and, and check in at, at, at the hotel uh, level. It also embed another part, which is to my eyes as a, as, a, um, as a digital leader for the company, even more important, it's a new CRM system, customer relationship management system. So we will have those three systems, CRS, PMS, and CRM fully integrated and fully embedded. That means that we will have all historical data about our customers that will be available for us to be way better in the way we communicate with them, proactively, pre-stay, during their stay also, um, uh, and after they stay, when they're gonna uh, uh, engage with us through our social media channels. All that in a fully automated and integrated way. So you can imagine, it's, it's, it's not a one month project as, as, <laughs> as, as you can imagine. It's a lot of development. We have dedicated teams to, uh, to, to build that. But I strongly believe it will be a, a, a fundamental differentiator on how we manage operations, um, but also sales and marketing, uh, digital, uh, uh, moving forward for, for our customers. I think it's pretty revolutionary, uh, Remy. I think it's a really exciting time for you guys. I could talk to you forever, but uh, we have run out of time. So thank you very, very much for participating. I really, really appreciate it.